Hello my lovely Scorpios, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Scorpio sun, moon and rising. Please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video and it would also really help me grow my channel. So any love and support you could send my way would be much appreciated and thank you to all those that have already subscribed or just liked a video. Um, it means so much to me, so thank you. So let's get on with your reading. So first thing we've got is the um, Animal Oracle card deck. So we're gonna get a message from your angels. Too many cards, just one card please. And see what uh, you need to know for this week. So angel spirit guys, what do our lovely Scorpios need to know? Okay. All right, so the message you got was the Peregrine Falcon, which is observation. Okay, so maybe you need to sit back and observe something. Maybe you've been involved in something a little bit too much and now it's time for you to sit back and just obs observe everything. Maybe there's an argument happening within, within friends and family and maybe they're trying to get you involved in it. Um, I feel that sometimes you just need to sit back and let the drama and just watch the drama unfold. Not your circus, not your monkeys. So if it's not to do with you, then don't get involved in it. And I feel that they're saying to, um, just just observe what is happening around you. This could also mean a work thing as well. Uh, it seems to be the theme of this week's readings. Um, a lot of work and business things are coming up this week. Um, so if this is a work thing, I feel that you need to step back and observe what's going on around you. Uh, maybe you're too involved in something that you're not getting the answers that you're looking for. And to step back and uh, try and, and then just see what's going on, what, what the reality or everything is. Uh, Ten of Cups has come out already with the tarot, so that's um, happy ever after. You've also got the chariot. And let's get one more card. Okay, and you've got the two of swords. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the nine of swords as well. So there's a little bit of um, air energy here. So you could be dealing with um, a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini here. Okay, so the ten of cups is your happy ever after. I now, for some of you, I feel that maybe you've gone and you've sat back and you've observed things that are actually going on. Maybe you've gone away, maybe you've just um, kind of gone within and maybe like either you have done or you're about to just stay indoors for like a weekend and just really kind of see what's happening around you and really kind of look at all aspects of your life. And I feel because you've done that, you're going to make some big decisions with your life and which direction that you want to take, whether that's in a relationship, a work thing, uh, maybe even a location change, whatever it may be. And when you make those changes that is going to be right for you, you're going to get your happy ever after. So if it's a relationship, you've decided that you want to um, pursue a relationship or whether you want to try again in a relationship or whether you've just decided that you just want to be by yourself for a while, whatever it may be in a relationship wise, you're going to have your happy ever after. This could be a work thing as well. Maybe you're thinking, oh, maybe I just need to go and uh, branch out on my own. Maybe I need to go and find another job. Whatever it is, whatever decision that you are going to make, because you took that time to sit back and observe what's going on, you are going to have your happy ever after. And if you haven't sat back and observed yet, I think that maybe this is a sign that you need to do that or maybe it's something that you've been thinking of and the universe is just encouraging you to do that. When you make these decisions about your life, you've got the chariot card. The chariot is about moving. You have to take... Um, take the lead here and start moving towards something. So if it is a new job you wanna go for, promotion you wanna go for, if you wanna branch out on your own, it's time to stop thinking about it now and actually start doing. If you wanna um, pursue a relationship or whatever it may be, stop um, thinking about it and actually start taking action. So the chariot card is all about moving forwards. You've got the the horses and carriage here and they're, they're running towards you. It's like, come on, we need to, I'm going to pick you up on the way. Let's go. We need to move. And I feel this could be you. It's like you're running towards something to pick something up on the way, whether that be a person 
or whatever. It's like I need to go and I need to go and get this now. I need to pick it up. The thing is, at the moment with the two of swords, you're kind of standing in your own way. You've got a decision to make, but you've got the swords crossed over in front of you. You need to uncross the swords, take off the blindfold, and see what's really there. You can't make the decision. You can't move forward if you if you've got your blindfold on. OK, this is the thing. This is why you if you haven't already right to sit back and observe, you need to take that blindfold off and see what's really, really happening um, so that you can make those decisions for the best thing for your life. Not everybody else is what's best for your life, but you need to take that blindfold off and then you can make the decisions that's going to be right for you. Because I feel at the moment you're in a place of uh, with a nine of swords, a place of. Um, anxiety stress i also feel that maybe you are healing something or um something's happened and you, you need to kind of move forward from that and maybe that's what the chariot card is as well once you let this thing go then you can start moving forward towards your happy ever after but you need to let something go first because at the moment this thing you're not letting go with the nine of swords is causing you um depression anxiety i think a lack of self-worth i think a lack of self-esteem um you're doing okay, but you know you could do better. So you need to kind of let some things go so that you'll be able to, with a chariot card, you'll be able to move forward. And I feel that you've been kind of lying to yourself a little bit about a situation. And that's why you need to take the blindfold off and really observe what the reality is and the facts about a situation rather than the things that we can easily make up in our own minds. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what else do we need to know? What do they need to move forward towards? What do our lovely Scorpios need to move forward towards? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. You've got judgment under the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you've got a bonus card here. So, we've got the Handman... We've got the six of wands and then you've got the devil. And on the bottom of the deck, yeah, you've got the moon card. So with the judgment card underneath the ten of cups, is that everything that you lost, everything that you have um, had to deal with and pain and all that, and you've been working hard, you sat back, you've observed things, you've looked at things from a different perspective, um, which then, like straight as I said that, I looked down, you've got the hangman, which is looking at things from a different perspective. Um, the universe has noticed that and they're actually bringing that they're, they're going to give you everything back that you that you lost. OK, you you really worked hard. You're not perfect. You've made mistakes. You you haven't done things the way that you should have done things, maybe. Um, and I feel that you are going to finally own up to it. Maybe even burying your head in the sand thinking it's someone else's fault. They did this. It was all them. They did this to me. Maybe you've been in that mindset and I feel that you are so finally you have finally kind of stood up and go, I'm accountable for parts of it. Not all of it, but I'm accountable for parts of it and I own it and I apologise. And the universe has noticed that, so they're going to give you everything back that you've lost and more so because you've really done the work to, to on that self-reflection. You've really kind of stepped out of yourself and looked in. And again, with the hanged man and you had the peregrine falcon, which is observation, the hanged man is about... Uh, stepping outside the box stepping outside the circle and looking in so you can really see what's happening look at things from a different perspective look at it from someone else's point of view and understanding it because once you can understand from their point of view it helps you understand that doesn't mean that you think that it's right or wrong anymore but you'll be able to understand which helps you move forward um the hanged man is also about surrendering to everything that you um that you've been holding on to everything that you want everything that you've been working towards that you just keep thinking you're hitting your head against a brick wall just surrender it to the universe and let them deal with it and just focus on the next step and then the universe will um be able to move you forward with it um, it's also about having patience. So even though you've made these decisions about your life and which direction you want to go in, um, it's all not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to take time and you need to be able to have that patience to do it. And that again is surrendering that to the universe. It's about focusing on what can I do next? What can I do next? What can I do next? Not, not what can I do to jump from A to Z? What's A to B? Focus on A to B, not A to Z. Um, once you do all that and with the judgment card you are going to have 
victory. So the Six of Wands is you've got the victory. Everything's going to start turning and working towards uh, your favour. It's going to um, work in your favour here. Um, you've really, really, I feel like you've really done some self-reflection and you've really observed this situation. You took accountability for yourself and any actions you would have taken it, which then set you free. You might have felt a bit shit to start with, like, oh, fuck, I did that, I did this, I did that. But ultimately, it is going to set you free because you owned up to it. And that is going to give you the victory that you want. That's everything that you've been desiring, everything that you've been really wanting deep down, but never thought that you could. It is all going to um, turn in your favour. you got the devil card here. And I feel that by you making these decisions about your life, it's not going to come easy to you. You are still going to have challenges. There might be people that are going to come to you and say, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to go back to that person? Are you being fucking stupid? Only you know what is right for you. And as long as you do what is right for you and not for anybody else. And sometimes you've got to listen to your heart and sometimes you need to listen to your head. Like say if you go back to a person, your heart really wants to go back to them. But your head knows that they're not right for you. Then you need to listen to your head. So for me personally, I've just had somebody that wanted to uh, try again with me, uh, but they don't live near me. They live a good four hours away. And even though I would love to try it again, the distance is too much for me. I don't like long distance relationships. So I knew it wouldn't work. So I just, you know, I was open and honest. And I, I said, what my truth was and I feel that whatever you decide to do you are going to come up against challenges and I think there are going to be people that are going to come up against you and say you're stupid or you really want to do this as long as it's right by you it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks and then you've got the moon card again um, moon is about making a choice of staying where you are or moving forward so with these people or situations coming towards you and kind of like trying to change your mind really and they, they mean well they just want to keep you safe but if it's not lighting you up then what's the bloody point point? and I feel the moon card is uh, your chance to see what's real and what's not what's real to you and what's not real to you and it's do you want to choose the path of staying where you are or do you want to follow the moonlight along this path that's over the mountains you don't know what's on the other side of it but you know it's got to be better than where you are so then you know you have to choose to stay where you are where you know it's safe but doesn't make you happy or you can choose to go over the mountain see what's on the other side with a possibility and um, really a definite that's going to make you happy but it's walking into the unknown which is actually what scares us and that is your the devil as well is your ego like is your ego telling you not to go not to go not to go because you're safe um and that's what the challenge could be so if it's not anyone uh telling you you can't do it it might just be your ego which then you've got to tell your ego to piss off so what else do our lovely scorpios need to know today please okay the magician you're going to be manifesting everything you've been manifesting and continue to manifest into your life is on its way. And quickly with the eight of wands. <laughs> you are going to have a little challenge, but once you overcome that challenge, then things are going to move. The universe is, is seeing you doing all the work and it wants to reward you, but they're not going to reward you straight away. There's going to have more little challenges come up and it's how you deal with those challenges that is going to ultimately decide um what's what your judgment is i suppose one more card please okay and the devil again and on the bottom of the deck we've got the four of cups so we've got the magician card here the magician is uh, the manifestation card so you could have already been manifesting some, something you might have been manifesting stuff without even realizing that you're doing it you might not have been doing it intentionally but it's something that you daydream about all the time daydreaming is manifesting because you're constantly thinking about it that the universe has finally got to say well this is what she or he wants so let's give it to them and i feel that those manifestations are on its way it they're, they're coming they are coming. Like I said, you've got some challenges to overcome first, 
but once you've overcome them then the universe is going to reward you and they're going to bring your manifestations into your reality and not slowly either quick the eight of wands is a movement card things are going to happen really really fast okay you need to uh say so you need to get over these little hurdles and then things are going to come to you so if you've been daydreaming about a specific job a specific relationship um a specific um house you want to live in or car you want to drive keep daydreaming because event it's just it's going to come in it's going to come in really really quickly for you which is really exciting um but you need to uh, just keep manifesting it and and overcoming those challenges and living your truth and being true to you again you've got the devil card your ego i feel like your ego is going to try and stop you like who do you think you are who's going to listen to you why do you think you can do this why do you think you can deserve this what, and all those, they're all going to come in. Your inner critic is going to come at you with everything it's got. And the only reason it's doing that is because it's something unknown to them. And at the moment, they know where you are and they know that it's safe. And that's all your ego is trying to do is to keep you safe. So it's your job now to quieten down your ego and tell your ego that you are perfectly safe and everything is going to be fine and to trust you and let's just take one step at a time you need to quieten down your own ego here for you to move forward and then you've got the four of cups and as you can see you've got three cups on one side and one cup on the other don't get distracted okay don't let your ego or other people distract you on where you want to go with your future Sometimes they could be waving this lovely shiny object at you and making it sound absolutely wonderful when it really isn't what you want to do, not what you lights you up. So as you can see, they're going here like, look, here's this shiny object, here's this thing, come, and, come over here, come and see this. And you're looking at these three cups here going, I really want to go in this direction, but I'm feeling pulled because of loyalty and everything else to go in this direction. They're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Okay, they're just trying to pull you back because you're doing something that they haven't got the guts and the balls to do. And you have. They they don't want to leave their comfortable life yet and you're making them question it and they don't like it. Ignore the shiny object and go with what you really want. Go with the three cups. That's what you really want. So stay true to you. Okay, my lovelies. That's all I've got. But before we do go, let's do a message from the Angel Answer Oracle card deck. So... Uh, Feel free to pause me if you want to, but ask yourself a question that you'd like an answer to. Um, it could be anything to do with the cards on the table. It could be anything to do with um, something completely different. Whatever it is in your life right now, um, think of a question you'd like to know and we'll get a message from the angel. So again, if you feel that you would need to pause me to think of your question, then please do. So, Angel Spirit, guys, please give me an answer to Scorpio's question. Please give me the answer to Scorpio's question. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, one more. Oh, oh wow, did you see that fly? Okay. So, in the near future. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, you've got romance. So in the near future, you are going to have romance coming into your life. So if that is for you, please take it. If it's not for you, then just leave it where it is. Um, and let someone else take it. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Scorpios. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it. If anything resonated with you, then please do drop a comment in the comment box below. I love to uh, communicate and connect with you all, and I do reply to all of my comments. Don't forget to, forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. It will also really help me grow my channel, um, which I'm really trying hard to do. So any love and support you could send me, uh, I really appreciate it. I do videos on daily, weekly, monthly and the zodiac signs every single weekend. And yours goes out every Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, so please do go and check out my channel for your previous readings. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.